Liverpool. It's Ian Hart. Welcome along to another LS11 Extra. It is, of course, the opposition view ahead of uh, the Yorkshire Derby. Another one. Uh, this time against Sheffield Wednesday. And delighted once again to be chatting to Dan Fudge from the Wednesday Week podcast. Dan, how are you going? Yeah, not so bad. I am absolutely suffering. Uh, I, I I went to go and watch the uh, went to go and watch the Plymouth game in a pub in London. Thought I'd meet up with some of the London Owls, some of the you know the Southern Exile stuff like that. Turn into a seven pinter, and I am absolutely stinking. I can't like. I, it's been it's been a difficult day to get through work today. Oh, dearie me. Uh, and it, it, are you in the, at the age now where it's not just a one day hangover? You get two and three oh. day hangovers. Honestly, it, it it requires more recovery than minor surgery. Trying trying to get trying to get around this one today, and there's only so much energy drinks one man can consume before his gut start rotting. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Well, hopefully you'll be okay for for Friday night uh, because uh, uh, Leeds United uh, next up for uh, Sheffield Wednesday uh, should be a, a nice taste of it. How how are Sheffield Wednesday this season? How have you found it uh, as a Wednesday fan? What what's uh, what's the uh, the score out of ten so far this season for Sheffield Wednesday? Do you think it's been Jekyll and Hyde? So the first 12, 13 games didn't win a game. Chisco Munoz got got his well rightfully got his marching orders as as the game started uh, as the season started. Then we've got in Danny Rule, uh, uh, you know a. Uh, young pragmatic coach somebody who comes with a lot of pedigree you know that 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 type of ilk you know one of those managers that people get excited about when they uh when they talk you know when they you know we want one of them fancy foreign managers you know he's he fits that 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 mold really well and uh, and he's done really well we had a bit of a torrid time at christmas and still didn't manage to get out of relegation but we're on the back now just before we play you guys we're on the back of winning four games on the bounce something that yeah. we've not done since 2007 so uh, there's there's kids now there's my friend's kids going and they've never seen it before in their life so uh, oh, wow. they now think we're good and uh, we've ruined their life forever by making them Sheffield Wednesday fans <laughs> yeah because like four on the bounce um I mean you're still what second from bottom but I mean it's so so tight down there isn't it really because you've there's only like sort of four points between yourself and Swansea in 15th so it's it's mega tight, so many twists and turns. And if you're putting on a run now, which you are, then that's you know it's the hope that kills you, Dan. I mean, yeah. uh, is that is is there just that little carrot in front of you? You're thinking this is going to be all right. This is going to be all right. That carrot has been there since November. I think I put a bet on uh, for Sheffield Wednesday to finish in the top half. Got odds like something like 100 to 1 or something like that. Ooh. Like, it's it, absolutely in, insanity. And now I'm thinking, do you know what? That might just rock in. <laughs> so that, that'll be 500 sobs in the in the skyrocket for uh, for next season to spunk on a percentage of a season ticket that char- the Chan Series charging us. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, look, we, I think we talked about this last time, didn't we? I mean, Leeds have had their fair share of crazy owners, and it seems you're you're going through that at the moment. Has he dialed it down a bit, or is he still, like, mad as a hatter? There's uh, there's a really weird thing happening right now. So just as the, uh, the protest group, Club 1867, seem to have upped their game a little bit, last night we had a, uh, a digivan, you know, those uh, light-up, advertising boards with Chancery out splashed all over it you know we had the uh we were on tv last month and we had the uh the yellow uh signs that everybody was holding up but since they've garnered a bit of traction and started moving forward Chancery seems to have been making some solid <laughs> solid decisions I, I feel like the only the only thing that still irks everybody right now uh, because you know we've got the management team and we you know we're, we're, we're winning games so, so the stuff on the pitch seems to be coming better but it's still the ticket prices and the season ticket prices that that are managing to cause a lot of discord um discourse but the um but yeah so you know it, it seems to have been making a lot of good decisions for example you know there's rumors coming out the club that we didn't sign Nicole Schultz on Chan series behest because people were saying look we can't sign this guy because he's an absolute wrong one. Uh, and so, you know, we, we we didn't get him as a result of, of a decision that Chancery made. But, you know, it, 
I, I've been here before. I'm sat here thinking, oh, yeah, you know, he, he knows what he's doing now. He's obviously learned from his mistakes, and then he'll do something absolutely insane next week and do four statements in a week or something stupid. Yeah, uh, you can never keep a, you can never keep those crazies down, can you? Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Look, this is going to be a fantastic game on on Friday. Mm. Uh, both teams in good form, so it should be a crack. It, it's it's obviously live on live on Sky live. Um, because I think just about every game Leeds are playing at the moment seems to be selected for for, for Sky, which uh, really puts uh, Leeds fans very, very happy about that. Um, <laughs> Another Friday night, uh, but under the lights at uh, Hillsborough. Um, this should be an absolute cracker, I think. This is set up to be superb. I don't know. I don't know, because we, we've got Jan Paveda on loan from yourselves, and he's been absolutely key to some of the success we've been having over, over recent weeks. He's been up incredible. How you guys have let let us have him as is beggar's belief, but given the players that play in that position that you guys have already got, you know, and, and it's working out well for you, you're on this mega run, um, do you need him? But then obviously your fans will be sat there going, well, we don't want to be helping them out, do we? You know what I mean? But obviously he's not going to be playing on Friday. Um, so in terms of the game itself, it's I, I think it's going to be one of those, do you remember Red Monday? back in the day that Sky TV were building up for about three weeks. I think it was Manchester United versus Liverpool, and it turned out to be one of the most dour nil-nil draws that anybody's ever seen. But it's got it's got potential to be another Red Monday, if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, I, they do build these up, don't they, really? But, I mean, I suppose you, you look at the... I mean, you, it's funny you mentioned Jan Pervader because I, I think there was, a, there was a lot of love for Jan. Uh, while he was uh, was at least, but again, like you say, not getting a lot of uh, chances in the team um, because of obviously the other people who are in the positions. Who else should we be looking out for? How, how's Barry Ballon doing? Is he is he still is he still got it? He must he must be about fifty now. Well, he got absolutely smashed <laughs> smashed in the face on Tuesday night. Oh, so I don't oh. know. Uh, you know, he came off at half time, which is a hell of a decision. But the the new coach in in rule we trust, and he's been taking uh, Bannon off with about twenty minutes to go over time. You know, sometimes he's doing the odd ninety, but he's not afraid to take Bannon off. Whereas a lot of coaches prior to to rule have just left him on there because he's always capable of that bit of magic. And he, you know, technically gifted, he's by far and away our most technically gifted player. Um, however, we've now got uh, Iki Ugbo, who's scoring goals, who who came from Cardiff on loan, and uh, he seems to be. I just found his scoring boots. Very clever player in the box. The way he drops back to find himself some shooting space is absolutely incredible. We've got Jedi Gasama, who uh, who we've got on loan, and all of a sudden he's turned into an a, 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 an absolute handful for any fullback. He's marauding down that wing, and on the other side we've got um, Anthony Masaba, who's uh, going forward now. We look like a threat, and we started playing Will Volks behind Barry Bannon to you know to do the donkey work, as it were. And um, it seems to be working. However, against you, against you lot, there's a question mark of whether we can break you guys down because, you know, I could sit here and talk about parachute payments and all the rest of it. But, you know, the, everything it's there for the, everybody to see, given the top three teams in the league that, that sits right now. So, you know, it, it's going to be a hell of a test, especially for our defence because, um, oh Christ, they're either, they're either outstanding or they're absolute handbrake on a canoe. Yeah, I mean, uh, Huddersfield seemed to sort of set it up, and I, th- I think Le- Leeds just look, a look, they looked a little bit tired, I think, uh, against Stoke last night. I think this this run of games has, has finally sort of like taken its toll, I reckon. Mm-hmm. So it's, if, if there's a point in the in the season to play Leeds, this is probably not a bad one. What about yep. your, your manager? You say in rule with trust, um, because obviously he, he does seem to have turned it around a bit, doesn't he? Uh, and he's pretty young, isn't he? Was he only like 34 or so? I, I am nearly 10 years older than our gaffer and I have never yeah. felt so, especially now with this hangover that I've got, I've never felt so old and stupid in my life. And this guy just absolutely gets it. He's uh, he's worked in England before, so he understands the tribalism. And and, the, and last night we had Hansi Flick sat watching our game, like absolutely incredible, right? Um, so rulers come in with a different 
a different ethos and a different method of coaching and training. A lot of players have gone on public record saying, you know, we're still learning these things. I, you know, Barry Bannon at 34 is, is sat there going, Christ, I'm, he's actually learning about football at, at his age. So there's definitely something new happening and the players are starting to subscribe to it, which is actually, it's amazing to see. And, you know, we all like a manager who's a bit tasty on the social medias and doesn't mind, you know, sharing pictures of him going, I love this team on Instagram. And all of a sudden now I've developed quite the man crush. This, um, you know, this this uh, this mannequin behind me, I might put Rule's head on there just to have a, you know, just, just so I can look at his lovely face. <laughs> uh, you you got to love the Germans. you got to love the Germans. Okay, so Friday night, uh, it's going to, we, we hope it's going to be an absolute cracker. Score prediction, what are you going to go for, Dan? An absolute dour nil-nil draw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put it past it. You wouldn't put it past yeah. it. I don't know. I've, I've yeah, got yeah. a funny feeling there's going to be goals in this one. You never know. You <laughs> never know. Uh, Dan, thank you so much for joining us on LS Eleven Extra. Really appreciate uh, your time and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. I hope that Wednesday pull out of that uh, bottom three um, because uh, uh, you, you definitely don't want to be in League One again. I think you need to be uh, definitely in the Championship and keep in there. Uh, but it'll be great to see you again. Uh, but okay, Dan, thanks so much for your time. Uh, don't forget, of course, uh, like, subscribe, give us a five star Apple podcast and spot a ride review if you can do, whichever flavor of podcast provider you use. And we'll catch you again soon. This is 